systematic desensitization. We're going to systematically desensitize you to particular stimuli, right? Um, to reduce it. <laughs> I think we need to kill this one. I didn't. I lost my example right in the middle of it. Kill gore it. in movies. What's that? Gore in movies. Gore in movies. Al Gore? No. <laughs> I guess. I mean, in one sense, yes. Um, we could slowly systematically desensitize you to that. Yeah! And you see, Gore, if I just show you a little bit of blood. And then it gets you used to seeing just a little bit of blood on camera, right? Um, and then I can show you a lot of blood on camera. You get used to seeing that. Then I can show you chopping somebody's arm off. Then eventually I can show you chopping their head off. And maybe even eventually I could then systematically desensitize you to be around violence altogether. So systematically desensitizing by exposing you to a particular stimulus to reduce the, uh, I don't know, so the classical response, the, the classically conditioned responses to it. Um, so systematic desensitization is, to, is a, a powerful tool that you can use to break the connection between a CS and a US, right? Uh, so if you're afraid of spiders, we might systematically desensitize you to the presence of a spider by starting off with a picture of a spider on the other side of the room, systematically desensitize you. So there's a lot of layers to it, uh, but I think most people are pretty familiar with this procedure. So because it's really popular to talk about in every level of psychology.